It's April 1st and I'm gonna start more seeds. I've got them ready. I'll show you what I'm planting today. Purple basil, around midnight purple basil, all from Fedco Seas. Genovese basil, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, verbena. Um, Zinnia, zinnias, marigolds, and I got a couple kind of cosmos. Um, these are from last year, and then these are from this year. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it is April fourth, and I have some flower babies, but. I didn't label them this time around, so I can't remember who everybody is. Um, basically, I have Cosmos, Zinnias, and Marigolds, and Verbena. So we'll see what... I'll figure out who's who, pretty sure. Um, and there will be basil, but that didn't. none of that sprouted yet, and I left that inside. Here's my other babes. They're doing okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, poor guys, they're flopping over with all of the wind and sun, but I think it's honestly good for them, you know, for the most part. Oh, I watered them. Live, be happy, no dying. Okay, so underneath here, I've planted two varieties of tomatoes. Oh, it's um, April, a week from the last video. Um, in a day. We've got Heinz 2653 Paste Tomatoes and Grandma Mary's Tomato. Because I, um, weird, we don't like tomatoes that much, so I do paste tomatoes and I make sauce. Here's how the flowers are doing. We've got, you can see little baby basils, mostly the purple one. A little bit of the green and then I think a zinnia got in here because <clears throat> I think those are zinnias I think this is a verbena and then I think that's a cosmos that got into the wrong place there's one other little verbena I think these are cosmos zinnias I think and I think these are marigolds I'll know once they get their true leaves I'll remember <laughs> <clears throat> And over here, we have the celery, which is doing pretty well as a whole. We've got a bunch. They're at different stages, which I actually like that. And then we've got our broccoli and cauliflower on this side. The cauliflower, I was a little concerned because we've got the leaves dying here, but those are the baby leaves. I don't know the actual correct term. The true leaves look okay, so I think they're fine. Except this guy looks a little sad, but I'm not too worried about him. The broccoli, look at that. Getting some good growth. They're still a little weird and bendy and falling over. They're probably a little bit leggy, but I don't think they're that bad. And I looked up, you can bury them a little deeper. So I think we're doing okay on that. So that's an update for now until next week when it's time for winter squash. So this is my in-ground garden, which doesn't look like a garden right now. It's got just a bunch of dead stuff and weeds from last year. And then over here we've got, I believe these are blackberries. So I'm, yes dear, I'm, I'm cutting them back. All right, trimmed them back, so much better. I'll have to probably trim them again, you know, halfway through the season. I actually don't plant a whole lot up here because of them but I mean I have to trim them back otherwise they're gonna just eventually encroach on my entire um, garden April 14th and I have tomato babies yeah. they already got kind of leggy they must have come up like at the beginning of the night or something but I think it'll be okay I'm not terribly worried there's also not as many as I'd hoped but you know, I've got time. And I could, I still have time, I could even plant more. 
<laughs> and the other thing to know about tomatoes is you definitely can plant them deeper because they will sprout roots um, almost anywhere. So that's what I've got so far. Um, there's not much of an update on the other babes, but they look healthy. Their baby leaves are dying, but the rest of them look really good. And they're enjoying the sun today. Yeah. Let's take a quick, quick look see at the flowers. Not any huge updates here, just happy plants all around. This is my strawberry bed. There's a lot of grass, unfortunately, in it, yeah. but my strawberries are starting to come back. There should be three different varieties in here. Yeah. Um, one's a June bearer and the other two are ever bearing, which means that they just have fruit all summer long. But we had, um, <coughs> last year, we ended up having like, the month of July, it just rained for the whole month. And so, unfortunately, I lost a lot of strawberries. The June bears were okay. Again, I have to look up the varieties. And then the other two were decimated. But there's a little bit left, so hopefully they'll be okay. Strawberries are pretty, pretty tough. So <laughs> today we are planting my squash and watermelon. So all of these are Fedco, black mountain tail watermelon because, I'm sorry, black tail mountain watermelon because it's the fastest. We've got spaghetti squash, um, New England long pie pumpkin. This is, um, I do pie pumpkins and I make puree. And carnival, um, this is an acorn squash. And I'm gonna plant these guys in pots instead. Now the reason for this, I discovered last year, they do not like to have their root dis roots disturbed. Um, the squashes don't. Now, the reason I discovered this is because I um, I went ahead and <laughs> did it last year, had them in cells. I even transported them to solo cups and they became like dwarf. They never got any bigger, I think because they become root bound easily and they just don't like their roots messed with. So, so. but the year before I had done them in pots and they were fine, they came out great. So we're doing them in pots. So. We don't disturb the roots too much. And I start, I'm starting them a lot later. Um, today, I think is the 15th or the 14th of April. So here we go, let's do it. Filled a pot and then I wanted to show that I put water ahead of time because I noticed that the water was um, staying on the surface and not getting proper, properly absorbed. So I wanted to get it wet ahead of time and then put the seeds in. So I didn't have seeds flying all over the place, potentially. Okay, here we go. They're all planted. We put in a ton of seeds because my acorn, pumpkin, and spaghetti squash was from last year. And I noticed germination rate goes down real fast. Didn't do as many of the watermelon because I got that new this year. We'll see. I mean, at worst, I can always pop more in there. And let's hope it goes well. Okay, so I've never tried this but I put the pots on top of my heating mat with the plastic over them so they don't get too dry. I'm gonna have to keep a close eye, make sure I keep them very well watered and hopefully this will work out well. It doesn't seem like the... And I have to have my daughter go potty. All right, today is April 23rd and here's the spaghetti squash. We got a whole bunch that popped up Here's the pumpkins. And we only have two acorn squash so far. I hope more pop up soon. Everybody's looking really good. Um, so, you know, the cauliflower that got chewed is doing okay. We'll see. Um, I'm not, I don't need every single one of them anyway. And then here's the broccoli. I'll tell you varieties again once I get these um, in their permanent homes, which is gonna be really soon, almost any day now. I need to get some compost and then um, I'm gonna get them out. And then here's my celery. I do have some algae issues with some of my celery. So I need to start letting them dry out a bit because celery likes it moist, but I think I've been overdoing it. And then over here, we got the tomatoes. 
They're starting to get their true leaves just now. I think those are Cosmos, Zinnias, Marigolds, Verbena, <laughs> more Cosmos, and my Basil. So it, everyone's doing really well. Oh, and I'll show you one other plant. This is my mint. <laughs> Once it gets warm enough, I let it just live here on the porch, the front porch here. I need to trim it up a little bit, but it's looking happier. Might need a watering. And that's it. It's my last set of seeds that I'm starting ahead of time. I'm gonna start cucumbers. Um, last year I had something that ate my cucumbers as soon as they popped up. And then I finally, I even bought starts like ahead of time because I was having this issue. And then what happened is it rained for all of July and I didn't really get much for cucumbers. So I'm gonna do market more. This is, yeah, a good slicing one. I got a pickling, national pickling. These are all from Fedco, summer crookneck, and a zucchini cassia. So I also have some newer seeds of these, but I'm going to start with the old ones. And hopefully all this goes well. Today I got my seed potatoes, so I'm planting them out. Yeah. I've I've got three different varieties. I've got a fingerling called Larat, and I've got an early Sangha Katadin. Oh man, and that's that's my late. And so I'm spreading this bed out yeah. into thirds. That's how I've split my potatoes. I've got too many fingerlings, so I'll probably give some of them away. Yep, and we're going to dig, yeah. and we're going to get all of these potatoes planted. Yeah. Okay, planted my potatoes. Basically, once they start popping up, I'm going to put another layer of compost to weigh that um, hay down, and then I'll mulch it again on top and just kind of keep growing it. Um, not too insane, though. You don't have to hill them like crazy, crazy. But... Yeah, that's exciting. Oh, there's one other thing I need to show. My watermelons came up. Got like five of them. I've got way too many spaghetti squash and pumpkins. I'm gonna have to thin those out really soon. And then the acorn squash, not as much. I They had trouble germinating last year too, so it's not surprising. So my loving husband got me a bunch of fresh cow poop manure fresh so this is um so that's what we're so what he's doing is spreading it through this garden my in-ground garden sorry there's a dog out here that shouldn't be out here and then he's gonna till it in and yep he's spreading it with a tractor and then i'll um it should be okay to use in this garden since it will be tilled in with the rest of the soil. So that's super exciting. Also show you guys over here. Yes, that is a big old pile of composted horse manure. And then that is gonna go in my raised beds, which you can see here. So it is exciting time. And this is Sketch. Hi, Sketchy. Hi, Sketchy. And there's my husband being a great husband to me. I'm so excited. It's going to be a great garden this year. All right, we spread it out um, with the tractor and also with rakes. And now, here we go. It's tilling time. Gotta just show them where to stop because of the rhubarb.
<laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because some of it is totally just pure poop right there. <laughs> Most of that looks good though. All right, oh, so this is post tilling. I don't know if we want to do it. Oh. Those doesn't take long. Just spread some ashes and till those in too. Oh, yes. I don't know what you think. Yeah. Yeah. So it's um pretty well tilled, except for this like middle section for some reason didn't want to cooperate as much. But I think we'll spread that out more. And Mamma Mia! <laughs> Mamma Mia! And uh, it should be good. Um, I'll probably might wait a few days before I plant, but I'm excited. Mama.